Let's give that number. Open your Bible, please. Let's all stand. John chapter 3. Let's all stand. Magatindu kita tanan palihog. John chapter 3. This is Teacher Sunday. So my subject this morning, Jesus, the divine teacher. Amen. Amen. Jesus, the divine teacher. Look in verse 1, John chapter 3, all the way to verse 5, responsibly please. So maybe, ver yeah, verse 5. Maybe verse 6, responsibly. Sabat Sabbath. There was a man of the Pharisees named Nicodemus, a ruler of the Jews. Look, in verse 2. The same came to Jesus by night and said unto him, Rabbi, means teacher, Master, we know that thou art a teacher. Jesus, the divine teacher, visited by a teacher. Amen? That's the whole story. Now in verse 3, Jesus answered and said unto him, Verily, verily, I say unto thee, Except a man be born again, he cannot see the kingdom of God. Jesus answered, Verily, verily, I send to thee, Except a man be born of water and of the Spirit, he cannot enter into the kingdom of God. Everybody, verse 6, go. Let us pray. Lord, I pray, please bless our time together. I pray that may your Holy Spirit, Lord, would be the one to open our eyes and teach us the truth. Help me now and bless me in Jesus' name. Amen. Please be seated. Jesus, the divine teacher. Jesus, the divine teacher. Now, this great chapter, ining dako kang special na chapter sa book of John, I say that big and great chapter because John 3.16 in, in this chapter, okay, gives us the portrait of Jesus Christ as divine teacher. We must remember, my friend, this morning, that when Jesus Christ came to this earth, He came first to teach people how to escape darkness and come to light. Most of His time, He spent His time giving warning and teaching people how to escape that lick of fire and receive eternal life. That's the main mission of Jesus Christ while he was here on earth. And here is very clear. He came to teach men how to escape death. And also it's very clear in this passage that this time he took this opportunity to teach this teacher. Now this morning as we take closely, as we take closely, sang kabuhi sini nga tao, Atong tulukon ining kabuhi niya. Here is a man in verse 2. Look in verse 1. I mean, verse 1. He, the, there was a man of the Pharisees named Nicodemus, a ruler of the Jews. I mean, this man, kung basao nimo, he was a very, I mean, this man who is now at the pinnacle of his success in life. I mean, you are talking about the things of the world. He had, he had it all. I mean, he was a respected man. He had the money. He had the power. I mean, he had all these things of this world. You're talking about 
uh, profession. He is a member of the Sanhedrin, which is equivalent in our time. He is one of the judges in the Supreme Court. Also this man, the Bible says he's a Pharisee. He is so religious man. Religioso nga tao. Educado nga tao. Kwartahan nga tao. Influential nga tao. I mean you're talking about success in life. He had everything. But one thing though I like this man. Though he had everything in this world, there's something lacking and there's something inside in his heart that he was longing. What is that pastor? Remember, he's a popular one man. He's a lawyer. He's a religious man. But the Bible says he came to Jesus by night. I'm telling you tonight, I'm telling you this morning, you know anong kinanglan niya? Ang kinanglan niya, listen to me, personal relationship with Jesus. Yeah. Listen to me, I don't care if you have everything in this world. I don't care if you have all the pluses of this world. Once you miss that very need, Inside, I'm telling you right now, the emptiness, the vacuum still real inside. Yeah. And this is what happened to this religious man here. And this is what happened to this educated, a very cultured, educated man. I mean, you're talking about a lawyer, very successful man, but yet there's something longing inside. And I like him. Because he was so honest to himself. He found out that after all these things, yet there's something empty and vacuum inside. Can I tell you this morning? Listen to me now. Regardless kung di ang kanda sa libel sa imo profession, I'm telling you right now, without Jesus, just be honest to yourself, there is still emptiness inside. The vacuum is still there. And I'm telling you right now also, the only thing that can satisfy that vacuum, you have to have a personal encounter with Jesus. You need to have a personal relationship with Jesus. Somebody said, just give me Jesus. I have Jesus. I have everything. What else you need if you have Jesus? I encourage you teachers. You'll be a great teacher if Jesus is your co-teacher. You'll be the first class teacher if you just allow Jesus to be your co-teacher. And pastor, what's the topic? What, what you're trying to tell us this morning? I'm trying to tell you first of all the subject of the teaching of Jesus. I mean, it was a personal encounter. And that time, as a divine teacher, the lawyer, the teacher came up to him by night. And I, and I'm telling you right now, what was the subject, Pastor? Science, math, or law? I'm telling you, the subject is simple salvation. Pastor, where you, what is your subject this morning? Teachers, I have a subject for you. The teaching of Jesus to this educated and very cultured in person here. The same subject that I'm preaching to you this morning. You need to understand the teaching of Jesus about salvation. The Bible says, For what shall it profit a man if he shall gain the whole world and lose his own soul? I don't care if you're the chief justice of the Supreme Court. I don't care if you own the whole world. If my friend, you are not saved. You do not have a personal encounter and relationship with Jesus. I'm telling you right now, you are still zero. You need Jesus. And this man was so honest. He came to Jesus by night. He realized that after having all these things of this world, he realized that 
being in church Sunday morning and Sunday night and Wednesday and teaching the Bible, he said, my soul, there's still emptiness inside. You can be a religious and without personal relationship with Jesus. Oh, hey, hey, klarohon ko. Pwede baptist ka, wala ka pong maluhas. Hey, hey, hey. Amen? Pwede niya lukdo ka Bible, huwag ka kaluwasan. Hey, hey, hey. We have Bible college here. Produkto sa atong Bible college, nagpagawa na tama mga foreign students out from our college. And we have so many, many pastors now planting churches, having churches in Bacolod. I mean, I'm great. I mean, that's super. That's a blessing. But listen to me. I don't care kung Bible student ka. Kung wala kaya personal relationship kay Jesus, no way to get to heaven. Let me ask you this morning, answer me personally and secretly. Are you saved? Naluwas ka na? Pastor, ano? Be honest. Be like this lawyer. Be like this very wealthy, wealthy man. He came to Jesus by night because he knew that he just heard Jesus. He just teach Jesus. He just influenced people for Jesus. But in reality, he was honest enough that still inside there is emptiness. May ara, gihapon, vacuum sa sulod. So, Pastor, that's the subject? Yes. Amuni ang opportunity ng divine teacher in to duanya in the professional man nga teacher. That's a good subject, ha? Amen? Wow, Pastor, ano na siya, first of all? Let us study here, first of all, the conversation of Jesus and Nicodemus. First, let us learn the character of uh, Nicodemus. Ano siya, Pastor? A ruler. He was a ruler. I mean, in the ordinary yung tao. He was a, a ruler of the Jews. I mean, the time. Equivalent ng mataas kang tao sa mga rasa, sa mga hudiyo. And in, in, in John chapter 7, it's very clear that he was a member of Sanhedrin. As such, he was among the most powerful men in that day. He was a judge, much like a member of the Supreme Court. So that is Nicodemus. And in the Bible, says he was a Pharisee. He was a religious man. Therefore, my friend, well, very clear in the gospel, ang Bible, ang gospel, nagas, nagatudlo, Matthew, Mark, Luke, and John, nga ang isa sa mga influential kagdako, nga reliyon during the time of Jesus, sa mga pariseyo, gindescribe ni Jesus, kung ang crowd niya ginawalihan nga tudloan mga pariseyo, pirmiya ni ginakundimar kay puro hipokrito, one time, si Jesus nagwali sa ila. Nya kaangay ka mo sa mga pansyon na sa guwaputi kayo purong sulod nyo gaok kagbaho. He ye hypocrites, Pharisees. But I'm telling you, Nicodemus was exempted with that because he is a very respectful man, very dignified man, very honorable man. Hindi siya mo sina. Nga, kita ta personally, he was so honest to himself. Hindi ang tanang aparisi, yung pikurito. Pastor, ano po tumis ka noon? Hindi ang tanang baptist, hipokrito. Hindi ang tanang gusto, ano hipokrito. Not all. Now, anong minsay, Pastor? Anong po tumising ka noon? Mga hinigugma, siya isa karilyoso, siya isa karuler. I praise God one thing. I like his character. He was a real person. I mean, his approach to Jesus indicates that he was sincere in his search for the truth. The time being a member of the Pharisees, being a part 
of the Supreme Court. I mean, you must be kidding me. How in the world that you just come out from the court and come out from your religious group and visit and sit personally as they consider Jesus as one of the religious leaders? Because the time panulok nila, kag pamati nila si Jesus, hindi yung manuluwas mo, religious leader lang. Can you imagine? Pastor Nuno, may gadiring din na sa iba reliyon, ara mo gusto nga. Wala sa mahuya. Amen? Why sa mahuya? Nga, real siya. Sincero siya. Nakita niya ng butang sa kalibutan ng araw sa iya, ang iya pagkarilyoso, hindi sabat sa iya spiritual need. Ang iya pagkarilyoso, wala nagdala assurance siya kalag mapatay sa magpalangit. Utod, I'm telling you this morning right now, mas may pa kay kariliyon ng mga assurance ka. Kaya kung pamangkutun mong Bible, wag yun ang Bible ng tudlo, mong ita ka rin yun. Pamangkutas ni Jesus, pastor, anong natudlo ni Jesus? Sila ni Jesus? Kamu mga parisiyo? Kamu mga reliyoso? He, kamu nga sailo-sailo rin yun? He said, He, I am the way. I am the truth. I am the life. No man cometh unto the Father, but by me. Clear? Only Jesus is the way to heaven. Only Jesus can satisfy and secure our eternity. Siya lang ang makasiguro sa atong kalawasan. He was a man who wanted to find true peace for his soul. He probably came by night not out of fear, but so that he could have that what we call no interruption and no hindrances when he wants to talk to the divine teacher. Why sa madlok makita? Gusto gin sa personally, may istorya ang maluwas. Oh, how I wish, all of you visitors this morning, especially teachers, oh, how I wish you have, you God will give you such desire to really come to Jesus and enjoy His personal relationship with Him. Hey, 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 that's what you need. That's what we need. Amen? That's our need. A personal relationship with Jesus. Na pastor anong bintaha? Kung may personal nga relasyon ka sa Diyos, listen to me, ang politika, ang kalibutan, ang subong, gusto may gahong, gusto sa posisyon, kay kung malapit ka sa luwag, imo ang tanan, o todo ay nakukinanglan sina, kung may Jesus ka, you tap the secret in heaven. Huwag ka na iban nga baking, if you have Jesus. Amen? Huwag ka na iban bulig, kung may Diyos ka, sa iyo mga kabuhi, He was a real person. Hindi siya hipokrito. Hindi siya may, I'm okay. But inwardly, He was not okay. No, I'm fine. But God said, you're not fine. Oh, I am religion. God said, you don't need religion, you need me. Your religion cannot help your emotional need. Your religion cannot secure your eternity. Your religion cannot give you heavenly wisdom to manage your profession, to manage your family, to manage your business. You need God. He was so real. He came to Jesus by night. I like him. Now we we learn the conversation. Now, verse two, the compliment from Nicodemus. Verse two, anong compliment ni Nicodemus kay Jesus? Then came to Jesus by night. Look at that, and said unto him, Rabbi, teacher, 
We know that thou art a teacher come from God. For no man can do these miracles that thou doest except God be with him. Oh, the first compliment from Nicodemus. He addressed Jesus with respect. He's a rabbi. It refers to him as teacher. It appears to hold Jesus in a high regard. Mataas ang pagtulog niya. Mataas ang pangrespitar niya. Utod kahit pa. Ano ang pagtulog mo kay Jesus? Anong pag-recognize mo kay Jesus? Pero kung isang kabutang mamiss mo ang pagkilala kay Jesus as your Savior and Lord, you're missing the whole thing. I cannot blame you. We grow up in a religious belief that we were introduced sa ngala ni Isos. Why tanatao sa mga Buddhist country ng alay ng Diyos introduce sila. Sa ibang nga reliyon ng alay ng Diyos introduce sila. I know I cannot blame you. Nga sang bata pa kita, pirmi kita, mga inigong mga kultsura ta, kagangaton mga religious background is all about Jesus. Hey, hey, I'm telling you right now, it's not enough to know about Jesus. You need a personal encounter with Jesus. I know you heard about him. My question this morning, when was the time you personally encounter Jesus in a personal way? Can you answer me with that? When was the time? Pastor, I go to church. Pastor, you have no idea. You just didn't see it. I'm a choir member. Pastor, you didn't see my big Bible. I don't care. If personally, experientially, you do not have that encounter with Jesus and do not have that personal experience with Jesus, you are missing the whole thing of your life. This is what happened to this religious man here. This is what happened to this very cultured, educated man here. But I like him though he was so honest. And he recognized Jesus with respect and honor. I know that thou art the man of God. King from God. He recognized Jesus as one of the prophets. But he missed one thing. That that divine teacher is the Savior. Pastor, how do you know it? Let's go on. Ano pastor dire? Now, he addresses Jesus with Sinang pagrealisar nga amuna ang Dios may gahom si Jesus and then also he addresses Jesus with human reasoning. I mean, he said Nicodemus is giving Christ honor and displaying respect for the power of Christ nga yan nakita. Listen to me. However, he was so short. In his personal relationship with Jesus, kung sino gid si Jesus? Si Nicodemus is nothing more, para kay Nicodemus, ang pagkilala kay Jesus, nothing more than a teacher or a prophet, my friend. Oh, I'm telling you this morning, please, please, the very basic to start biblical, godly Christianity, recognize Jesus First, as your Savior. And then learn to serve Jesus. Learn to obey Jesus. Learn to submit Jesus. That's the only time that Jesus, not just your Lord, but your, not just your uh, Savior, but your Lord. 
Kadamo sa aton pagkilala ni ka Jesus, Savior lang. Pero sa mga personal agenda ta, sa mga profesyon ta, sa mga financial life ta, Jesus is no longer the Savior and the King. Pwede Lord mo siya, pamang, pwede may Savior mo siya, pero kung gasunod ka niya sa agenda mo, you cannot afford to call him to call him Lord kung ikaw gyapon ga sunod sa imo pamaagi. Magsring ka Lord. I submit to you my Lord. I'm just but a servant. Ano na Lord? Ang servant. Ang tawag ya sila mga master Lord. But sa noon they have no freedom of their own. They have no decision of their own. Ang ila kabuhi, kagaila kabuhi sa unhan. Ang decision ara sila ng Lord. That's the sad thing in our Christianity nowadays. Ang pagtulo kay Jesus, Lord la, ang Savior lang. But He's not the Lord of all aspects sa atun kabuhi. I encourage, and in fact, I'll just put, you know, mention ko sa message ko, by the grace of God, I will start a ministry and I'll call it Christian, I mean, teacher. Ano itong nga Teacher Christian Fellowship. Nga, kainsindigi ko sa inyong mga teachers ang inyong mga pagbako. Sa inyong mga kabudlayan, I will design a ministry now, once in a while, maging kewed sa inyo. Mag-lift up sa inyo. Kay kung kaysa, you do, you, probably you don't really realize this. Sometimes you just work, 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 and work. Before you know it, before you know it, you're just dragging yourself. Before you know it, there's no more challenges. No more excitement. You lost your passion of teaching and ministering these children. Why you just drag yourself? I saw that for a long time. And I said, Lord, if you'll allow me to start this ministry to help our teachers to be more effective teachers and model teachers in my city, then I'll do it. Because we have so many teachers here. Kagusto ko mangin blessing ako sa inyo. Ako to may efektibo pagid kamo. Kag mag-enjoy pagid kamo. Kung may mga espirituhanong na climate ang inyo profession. Amen? Because I'm telling you right now, outside from the spiritual fiber, you cannot make it. Tell me of anything in this world without God. If they can make it, you'll never make it. You're just dragging yourself instead of enjoying. Hello, amen? Oh, ambot lang. Pag inuwa sa mga teacher sa classroom, galok do sa problema. Pagabot sa balay, kakaol, problema. Magtulog problema, pagbukta problema ang nangyapon. Ang problema lain pa, hindi iya personal ka pamili, problema sa eskulahan. To nami ula ka bata. <laughs> Much more damo bata mo. I could imagine, I mean, listen to me. To di nga nga istorya ko hindi. Teachers, agree with me. Be once in a while say, kamu amen. Amen, amen makamubi. Amen. amen. That's your life. That's the nature of your vocation. That's why God gave me the burden to be around with you guys and help you. And one, I mean, I'm excited for that. And I believe if I believe that this is God given burden in my soul, and God will sustain it, and God will make it happen. Pastor, how excited you are! I bought that big van. 
na tulok-tulok na ba maupod kami sa mga teachers ka to sa mga ITB mga salakyan upod mag fellowship to sa gwa mangita to sa mga wildlife pastor nga wildlife hilig ko na mo no what a blessing that once in a while may ara ka mulain nga pag ginatawag varisyon sang lifestyle nyo if I'll around and start this ministry I'll put God I'll teach you how to put God first so that God will bless you and your profession. I guarantee you already, God will bless you. Because God never sponsor a failure. And I want this ministry as a model to the city. Ari atong supervisor. Superintendent. Huh? Superintendent. Ah, dai dai sorry gina dai gado. Do do yung people pagagapon pag tulog sa una eh. Si grow up in home ministry. Ko ina ko recognize niyo mga high ranking na. But one thing I'm telling you right now, without God that emptiness still there. For the young ones, kamo mga bago, start the right structure of your profession. Be a successful one. Pastor was the foundation. Who oh, is the sponsor? Jesus. That's why when I start this church in Bacolod, I call it abundant life. Because there is always a blessing when you stay with God. So my friend, I'm going to say to you, my friend here, I'm going to say to you, my Jesus, but one thing ang iya na kulang inang iya nga personal nga relasyon sa Ginoo. I don't know kung kabati ka mo. Sinang ginahimo sang mga intelligence agency nga magpenetrate sa communist countries. Like for example, makadto ka sa China, sa communist China. Ang ginahimo na nila nga sa ila mga materialis o mga personnels, una, ila na to ipadala kang edukahon nga ang ila nga agent nga ipadala una kabalugid maghambal sa ininsek. Kabalus ang kultura sa mga insek. Maayo maginawi sa ininsek. Pagkatapos iba na sa ila nagapa o pirapa ang itsura nila doon mga insik. Well, be si Rimar, ginawin insik insikon eh. Hapos na lang ni Istokihon nga mag-insik. Okay? So, muna ginahimo nila. Kag, pagkatapos sina, ipadala sila dito. Kag, pagkatapos sina, mag-start sila sa ilang misyon. So, pwede nga, ato na sila, gawi nila, hinambalan nila, kultura nila, tanan-tanan. Insik na sila. Pamati. Bisana no pa nilang istuki, liwaton ang ila hinambalan, tanan-tanan nga mag-insik. Kung hindi ka, ang imo ginikanan hindi insik, hindi pagkagyapon insik. Anong implikasyon, Pastor? Damo nga mga religious people, They speak like a Christian. They act like a Christian. They smell like a Christian. Everything outside, externally. Christians. Otod, ang emphasize si Jesus, hindi ka tuntun nga Christian unless may spiritual birth ka. That is the subject of Jesus. He said, Nicodemus, you're so religious. You know, Uh, you know everything about God. But one thing you're missing, you do not have the spiritual birth on above. Wala ka spiritual birth. You are not a Christian. Oh my friend, wala ayhan ang mga tao palibot na karikugnay sa imo. But listen to me. Ang Diyos kita ka. Kita ka sa ginoo. So now, amunang compliment mga hinigugma ni Nicodemus. Verse 3, 
Tanawan nyo ang challenge from Jesus to Nicodemus. Nga ginatudluan niya. Ano na sa pastor? In verse 3, tanawan nyo. Jesus answered and said unto him, This is now the challenge, Except a man. Verily, uh, he said unto him, Verily, verily, I say unto, I say unto thee, Except a man, what? Be born again. He cannot what? See the kingdom of God. Listen to me, my friend. Can I make a Jesus? Si Jesus can ignore niya lang ang mga compliment ni Nicodemus. Ginignore niyang tanan nga pagkilala ni Jesus ang ni Nicodemus sa iya. Ginignore ni Jesus nga siya ginbanunudlo o profita. Si Jesus, siningat yun, nag-insert na. Nicodemus, ang kulang mo. Kinahanglan ka matauliwat ang gunto kasulod sa langit. Yan, Nicodemus, listen to me closely. Agod to nga mag-enjoy ka sa langit. Agod to mapatay ka, magkanto ka sa langit. Inang lawas mo, hindi na kasulod sa langit. Magkasasala na ang alin sa ginikanan mo. Nicodemus, listen to me closely. Thank you, inarespitar mo ako. Thank you, you recognize me as a prophet and a great teacher. But listen to me, I'll teach you something very important. And he said, kung hindi ka matao ni what spiritually, hindi ka matao ay sa langit noon or above, hindi magkakasulod sa babaw. I think this is a very clear message if you're looking for salvation. Wala tao karong nga aga sa sininga crowd. Nga why gaspirar ka gadisar magkanto sa langit. Sorry to tell you. If Jesus is not the way for you to get to heaven, you'll never get to heaven. Because it's very clear from the teaching of Jesus. Teaching this teacher. He said, except a man be born again, cannot see the kingdom of God. Kabay pa sining aga, ining minsay agin tudlo ni Jesus. Sakay ni Kudimos, mangusisa sa aton. Because when Jesus Christ said, Except a man be born again, what is that? The necessity of the new birth. The word except means it is imperative. But singing on, you have no choice for salvation. Only spiritual birth. You either come to God's way or you do not experience salvation. In other words, it's Jesus' way or nothing. Sundon tas Jesus or aton pamagi. Now, sa kaanis ni Nicodemus, verse 4, na-confuse siya. Tanong sa verse 4, confuse ganun ang pobre nga malam. Verse 4, Nicodemus says unto him, he was so confused now, how can a man be born again when he is old? Can he enter the second time into his mother's womb and be born? Oh, my friend, sorry for this educated man. Now he is confused. Amen? Nicodemus, like so many people, confuse the things of God, especially Comparing the flesh and shell. My friend, I can tell you something. My friend, listen to me. Hindi ka gikensindi sa espirituhanon nga hinambalan unless may espiritu ka sa Diyos. Di sa kango? Di ko lang na kulo yun na ko. Masul ko liwat sa tiyan sa ako ni Loy. Kag matawo liwan. I mean, humanly speaking, that's impossible. That means, my friend, why is he saying, "Oops, spiritual"? Can you imagine? 
Ano na tabos kabuhi mo perti ka alam mo ikin di spiritual nun? Can you imagine all the places of the world? You have all this and yet you don't understand the simple spiritual message of salvation? Oh, I feel bad. I feel bad on you. A very simple message, yet you cannot understand. Praise the Lord. The divine teacher explain it to him. Kung ano, in a both singing on. Ano gin tudlo ni Jesus? Salamat kay si Jesus. Hindi isa pugoso. Why niya gin puwersa? Gin tagaan niya sa paghangop sa ginsakto. Ano pastor ang natabo? Next verse. Ano pastor ang next verse? The Bible says, next verse, verse 5. Jesus answered, Verily, verily, I see unto thee, except a man be born of water and of the Spirit, he cannot enter into the kingdom of God. This is now the clarification of Jesus. My friend, this is an effort to clear things up for those people seeking salvation. Ano yung napot sing ganon, mga inigogma? This is the instruments of the new birth. Anong instruments sang new birth? Anong instruments sang spiritual birth? Anong instruments sang ginatawag heavenly birth that Jesus said, He listened, except a man be born of the water and of the spirit. Oh, pastor, mapatugmaw ko? Water, sinin ni Jesus. Now listen to me now. Ini nga water, hindi ini tubi sa tugmaw. Kay kung tubi na sa tugmaw, may contradict ang teaching ni Jesus sa isa sa mga kawatan sa cross. Isa sa mga kawatan sa cross, nga gahim mo mugto. Pagliso niya, naginulso siya masalag ang nag-recognize nga si Jesus ang maluluwas sa iya kiliran, din nagtulog sa naginulsol ka, din the time ang siling siya, si Jesus today, thou shalt be with me in paradise. Why siya matugmawan? Kung ang tugmaw makaluwas, why siya sa si Moses, si Abraham, si Jacob ang palangit, kaya sa Dante Estaminto, wala tugmaw. Ang tubig diri, nagasimbolo, Sang word of God. Can I tell you something this morning? Without preaching the word of God, without teaching the word of God, the process of spiritual birth is impossible. Pwede ka da karas himo sa mga spiritual, I mean, religious rituals, religious activities. Pwede ka kapatog mao kada domingo. Oh, pwede. Pwede ka ganyan magpastor-pastor. Bro, that is not the process. That is not how Jesus Christ teach this educated religious man here. He said, except a man be born of the word of God, the Bible. Listen. Kung wala sang pagwali, wala sang pagtudlos Bible, di ikaw mo kadangat sa kaluwasan. Kay ang insakto lang na prescription kagpagtudlo sa kaluwasan ara sa Bible. Siguruhan yung natindugan nyo sa kaluwasan nyo, inambal sa Bible. So, number one, na instrumento nga maprocess ang spiritual birth mo. Word of God. Thank you for listening the Word of God. Jesus Christ said, Except a man be born of water, the word of God, and of the Spirit. You have no idea this morning. I'll tell you now. While I'm preaching the truth, preaching the word of God, can I tell you something? The Holy Ghost is convicting you. Can I tell you something? While I'm teaching and pointing you to Jesus, 
Well, I'm telling you right now that regardless of the things you got in this world, I'm telling you right now that emptiness and vacuum still real in you. I'm telling you that the only answer is Jesus. Right now, the Holy Ghost is convicting you. Yes, Pastor. Oh, 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 I have religion. Yes, Pastor. I thought I'm saved. Yes, Pastor. I thought I'm okay. I, because I have religion, I read my Bible. But to be honest, Pastor, I'm not sure that when I die, I'll get to heaven. You know, sino gambal na say mo? Holy Spirit. Right now. Pastor nga. Sin sa Bible. He that worship him must worship him in spirit and in truth. You cannot worship God without the Bible. You cannot worship God without the Holy Ghost. That's why every time we gather together here as an assembly, as believers, we want the Holy Ghost. We want the Holy Ghost power to convict us. And also we need the Holy Ghost to tell these backsliding Christians that still living in the world and living in sin. The Holy Ghost is convicting you that after you got saved, you're supposed to live for Christ. Now you still live for yourself. Shame on you. Tapos ka naluwas tani ang kabuhi mo, ialagad mo kay si Ginoo. Hindi kang alagad mo. Koglingon mo kaya po. Convicted ka siya eh. Ging bakal ka na sa yung ging luwas ka na sa Dios, ging bless ka. Ihatag na nabalik sa Dios. Hey, kung ang Dios ihatag mo na sa Dios, you have no idea what God can bless you. That is the work and the ministry of the Holy Ghost. As I close the message right now, let me ask you that question in the opening of my introduction. Suppose you die today, are you sure hundred percent? That you'll get to heaven. I hope you listen to the teaching of Jesus to this teacher, Nicodemus. I hope you submit to God. Yes, Lord, I'm not saved. I have religion, I have education, but I'm not sure that when I die, I'll get to heaven. Pastor, are you telling me that I could be sure that when I die, I will get to heaven? The Bible says, He that believeth in him should not perish, but have everlasting life. Oh, Pastor, how do I know that when I die, I get to heaven? The Bible says, These things have I written unto you, that ye may know that ye have eternal life. And this life is in his Son. He that hath the Son hath everlasting life. Ang may anak, may kabuhi, nga walay kataposan. Ang wala ka siguro, I beg you today, please, come to Jesus. We will go home today. God will bless your profession because not only you have education and profession, but profession and education with Jesus.